Thank you, Malaysia Give Me Crown, and I'm very happy. Ang magaling na lady artist mula sa Russia na kinilala ang kanyang galing sa pagguhit, pagpinta, bahagi ng kanyang pagmamahal sa sining ng Russia. Nang siya'y pumunta sa Pilipinas, minahal niya tayong mga Pilipino ang ating bansa sa kultura at tradisyon nito. Kahit na naging sikat pa siya at beauty queen ng bansang Malaysia, pabalik-balik lamang siya sa Pilipinas dahil sa paniniwala niya, magaling pa rin sa pananamit at mga bagay nakakaiba ang mga Pilipino. Nandito si Ms. Natalia Bronzova. I joined in one pageant. It was in September. I passed the audition and was selected. Uh, we were 12 uh, finalists, so selected among uh, 40 others. And uh, it was Mrs. Malaysia Global Universe. And as I won a uh, second runner, so I will represent Malaysia in Asia Pacific Intercontinental in May 2019. So, and because of this, I also get crowned uh, Queen of Substance. I organized my ball in uh, Kuala Lumpur, my birthday ball, you know. I have some uh, commitments to attend, uh, that's why I spend a lot of time in Malaysia. I also supposed to be judged for the next pageant. Okay. Do you because you are from Russia? I am from Russia, yes. Okay. But the condition of the pageant do not say that I have to be Malaysian. I have just to live one year in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually to spend mo most of the time there, to attend all the events, to be published in the newspaper, and to do photo sessions when we need it. So that, that's the more, more role, or to, to go to charity as well. Do you expect uh, to be a uh, of Malaysia. Oh wow, that's a big, big story. Actually, you know that uh, Malaysian king recently, actually in November, he married a Russian lady who was uh, Miss Moscow before. Okay. And, they, and then they disappeared, both of them, for one month. And many of my friends know the story. They say, oh wow, king married, he, king resigned because he married the wrong Russian. They say, I just enjoyed uh, the stage, the movement, the everything. Because maybe it was every girl maybe dreamed to be in a beauty pageant when we were a teenager and I dreamed, but it never happened then. Yeah. One of my childhood dreams realized, you know. Yeah. And I, I just enjoyed that. Okay. But it also gave me sentence because I see by the comments in my Instagram and Facebook, some name me. After this, you are planning to have a Russian ball on March. Yes, it will be an annual Russian ball because the previous one we we did uh, January 3, 2018. Yes. Yes. So this one also sup was supposed to be in January, but we a little bit postponed it to March. Now it will be on March 6. And what do we expect on that event again? Glamorous event. Wow. <laughs> it's a glamorous. Oh, yes. I will, you know, to create new style, Natalie Fick. My name. I actually open also my name become brand name. We open the line of the clothes now. It's actually now we're working on the website. So it will be nataliabronzova.com. It will be your addresses for the moment. Then dresses, then jewelry. You know, when I lived in Russia, in Russia we like to dress and wear sweaters, jeans, because it's cold most mm -hmm. of the time. You cannot wear high heels, it's not practical. Mm -hmm. No events to go. And when I came to Manila, I say, wow, this is my, my, my class of people, my society because they like to be dressed, they like to be elegant, they like to be beautiful. I fit there. You know? Most of the best dressed Philippine ladies, they are my friends, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, many beauty queens, a uh, few be be beauty queens also my friends here and now in Malaysia as well. So then, Correct. so never be like others, be yourself and create your, your path in life. That's what I'm doing actually, that's why I put my uh, now line of clothes we will we will soon reveal okay thank you my friend our thank friend you, from russia thank you very much thank you darling i love you